Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Muggle Mischief Managed. I'm Alicia. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get updates about future videos. If you've been here before, then welcome back and get ready for the mayhem. I did another haul. Uh, I went to Walgreens, actually, not for anything Harry Potter, but somehow I walked out with a huge amount of Harry Potter stuff. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to kind of show you what I got and I'll let you know how much it was. I think this might be like a great last minute Harry Potter gift uh, thing that you could do for like if you are a day or two out of Chris out from Christmas and you desperately need something, Walgreens apparently is the place to go. Uh, I don't know if they normally carry this much Harry Potter stuff. It just happened to be that I stopped in and found it. So it is November, so I imagine they have probably a little bit more gift displays than they typically would. So let's get started. Um, the first bag here, I got a Hogwarts Potion Cauldron. I believe it's a mug, but I, yes. So it's a soup mug. It's a 20 ounce soup mug and spoon set. So that you can see they're pretty shiny, but it does have the Hogwarts crest on the front. Um, yeah, it's a pretty big mug. It says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I thought this would make a great addition to my upcoming potion shelf that I'm making. So yeah, it's really cute and it comes with its own little spoon that you could rest in it and make it look like you're stirring your, your potion. So that's really cute. Yeah. It looks like you have other options too. You could collect the one that's Harry Potter's head or the Hedwig mug. But I chose the Cauldron one because I needed a few more things for my shelves. Um, this retailed for $10.99. So not too bad for like this big of a mug. And if you wanted to actually use it, then you'd have plenty of room for a decent amount of soup or coffee or tea or whatever you choose. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The next items... I got, I got some Hogwarts notebooks. So the first one is just a really nice Hogwarts gold foiled uh, notebook. So let me open this up. Okay. So yeah, it's just a really nice embossed notebook. It has lined pages just for jotting notes. And they have the little HP symbol with a little snitch. So yeah, really cute to jot down ideas. Um, try and, oh, and in the inside has the Hogwarts crust. So yeah, just jot down ideas and think of new video things to do. So yeah, I really liked this one. And then I also bought in the same area, the Marauder's Map one. So let's just take a quick look and see if the inside is different. And looking at my receipt, it looks like they were Hmm. Uh, they were nine, $9.99. $9.99 each. Yeah, so yes, this one is all but the same. It just has the cool little Marauders map symbol down there at the bottom. Yeah, it has some sort of Latin writing in it. In turn, itinerium, Marautium. I don't know what that means. But yeah, really cute. And then on the front cover inside, it says, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. And then it has the typical Marauders cover and just some more Marauders stuff on the back. So yeah, those are really cute. I think I will use them to just jot notes about future videos or things I find that I think is cool. So they're just really nice, cute little desk notebooks. The last thing in this particular bag is a collectible Chocolate Frog keychain. So it's just like a little keychain with the Chocolate Frog box on it. I'm going to open it up and show you inside though because it's really cute. It actually does come with a little mini Chocolate Frog inside and it is metal. This is from the Noble Collection. Um, so it was a little bit pricier um, for a keychain. This one was, I believe, $14.99. Yes, $14.99. They had another keychain there. I forget what it was though. So this one, it does open. So it opens, I believe it is hinged. Oh yeah, it's hinged at the front. So you open it from the top 
and inside is your little chocolate frog and he's right now wrapped so he's really cute though and then he does he is connected with a little chain so you don't have to worry about him flying off and losing him but yeah I thought that was so cute how it wasn't just the box you actually got the little chocolate frog inside but yeah that's such a cute little thing and then it is magnet so it stays shut. That would be such a cute little addition to your key ring or even just like hanging off a purse. Yeah, I was really excited about that. Add that to my collection. All right, let's go to the next bag. The next bag I've got has some mystery cubes. So these are just little figurines that you can get. I got two of the regular Harry Potter ones and two of the Fantastic Beasts ones. So I am going to wait and I will open these up in just a minute after I go through some of my other finds because uh, I also have some other mystery items that I thought I'd open for you. So I'm going to set these aside um, and I will come back to these. All right, next bag. This just has a really nice Harry Potter fleece blanket. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like. It has Hogwarts and the castle and a full moon, and it is super soft. It's very plushy, um, and it looks like this one is 60 by 90 inches, so it's pretty big. It'll fit over, it would fit over an entire single bed. Um, it will probably work on a double as well, but it probably won't just go down very far on the sides. You would probably could use it just as like an end throw blanket or something too. But yeah, so I thought that was really cute. And that retailed for the blanket was $24.99. So, I mean, a little bit much for a throw, but it, it was really big and super soft. And it was probably the least obnoxious design I saw there. A lot of the other ones were just really busy. They had a ton going on over them. So this one was just the really nice silhouette of the castle with the moon. I thought it was very simple. Um, compared to some of the other ones. So yeah, that was really cute. I'll sit that up there. All right. One of the other items I got had to be kind of wrapped because it's a little fragile. I got a Green Dots bank. So it is a little piggy bank. There is a spot for you to stick coins. Um, it does have a little stopper in the bottom. Um, this is obviously an officially licensed product. Um, made by Silver Buffalo. I'm guessing they're a toy company. And it, I just thought it was really cute little replica of Gringotts. And I was going to put it on my Harry Potter shelves, probably in my book one, my uh, shelf just devoted to his Harry Potter's first year. And the, uh, Philosopher's Stone, if you're in the UK, and uh, if not, um, Sorcerer's Stone. So yeah, I just thought that was really cute. It has a lot of really nice detail on the front. It says Green Gots Bank. Yeah, and it even has the little steps that they walk up. I just thought it was really cute, and it would go nicely with the other items I want to put on my shelf. All right, let's go to the myth to the mystery items. So. I have some more mystery items. I've got, they had mystery ornaments. So they have little ornaments and it says collect all six. They have Harry Potter, Hermione, Ron, Voldemort, Professor Dumbledore, and Snape. So I bought 10 of these. So I was hoping to open them up and get a complete set. Let's get started opening these and then I will open the mystery cubes as well. If you would like to be entered to win one of the extra items that I'm sure will be coming. Make sure you comment below with which one you would like, and I will let you know what those options are then once we open these up. All right, let's open up the first ornament. It feels big, like the hair is big. They all look like they kind of have big hair. All right, the first one is, oh, Snape. So there is the little Snape. Wow, they have like big heads. They're almost like the chibis, but not quite. Yeah, so there's one for Snape. Let's open up another one. The 
this time I got Ron. So a little Ron. Yes, very cute. He even has little freckles. Adorable. All right, let's go for another one. The next one. <laughs> another Ron. So that means I will be giving this one away. So you have Ron Weasley ornament as one of your giveaway options. All right. Let me see. I get another new one. Oh, another Ron. So now we have two Rons that I can give away. So two people um, will be able to get the little Ron ornaments. All right. Another Ron. <laughs> so three Rons to give away. Three. I just want to stop quick and let you know that these do retail for $3.99. So they're not too expensive. It's like four bucks. Um, yeah. So the fact that I got three Rons. Clearly I didn't dig through the box well enough. If the rest of these are all Rons. You guys are going to get really lucky. And I will be able to give away so many little Ron Weasley ornaments. Alright. Hopefully this is something different. Oh yes. Okay. Finally a different one. Dumbledore. So I got a Dumbledore. His little glasses. Very cute. Very cute. All right. I have four left. So I need three different ones. I still need Harry, Hermione, and Voldemort if I want to get a complete set. If not, oh well. I know where Walgreens is. I can always go get a few more. Um, but yeah, so let's see if I have any different ones to give away to. Okay, I got another Dumbledore. So there will be three rounds and a Dumbledore to give away. All right, so three left. This one is Voldemort. Oh, he looks really unhappy. <laughs> and look at his big egg head. His head is so huge. So Voldemort. Finally, okay, I have four out of the six. So I have two left, so I need two. Chances of me getting a full set are very slim now. All right, yes. So another Dumbledore. So I will not be getting a full set, but that is bonus for you because I have three rounds and two Dumbledores so far to give away. All right. Last one is another Dumbledore. So apparently the Dumbledores and the Rons are very common. It doesn't have any specific information on the packages about how common certain ones are, um, but I have three Dumbledores and three Rons that I will be giving away. So like I said, make sure you comment down below with which one um, is your preferred number one, um, but obviously there is no second, third choice. Uh, it's either you get Dumbledore or you get Ron. Um, so yeah, so make sure to qualify for the giveaway you have subscribed um, and you have commented down below which one you would like. Um, double entry if you share the video. So if you would like an extra chance at winning, make sure you share this video on any form of social media. Uh, you can share it on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever uh, works for you. All right, let's clean up some of this. And open the mystery cubes. All right, hopefully I got different ones from mystery cubes for my collection. If not, bonus for you guys. All right, this one is just a regular Harry Potter one. So you have the option of getting Dobby, which I find it a little odd that he's considered a magical creature. I guess he is technically, but the rest of these are more animal, animalistic um, type items. So this one says... That you can get Hedwig, a Cornish Pixie, or it looks like Norbert. I don't know if that's Norbert or a Hungarian Horntail. It might be a Hungarian Horntail. Um, but this is also Noble Collection, and it's officially licensed. My box does say item 8 of 8. 
I don't know. The other one says six of eight. So I guess maybe there's a way of telling which one you're getting. This one says three of eight. And this one says five of eight. So I might have actually gotten all different ones. Huh. That would be a novel thing. All right. Let's open this one up. So the mystery item is... All right, so they do come with like a little, it is a Hungarian horn tail. They do come with a little stand and it is labeled. So let's pull it out of the paper. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little plastic figure and you can sit it there. A little Hungarian horn tail. Very cute. All right. The detailing of the paint is actually pretty good. Like they have... The mouth is painted and all the little teeth and the claws. I actually think the detail on that is pretty cute. And that, oh, it's magnetic. There's a little magnet. That is really cool. So then it like, you can shake it and it doesn't fly around. All right. I think that will be a really nice addition to my um, fourth year, fourth book, Goblet of Fire show. Cute. All right, Hungarian Horntail is number one. Well, actually, the number on that one, I believe, is eight of eight. So if you are specifically looking to get the Hungarian Horntail, look on the bottom of the box down, and it down there, and it says number the item number of eight. So that one was eight of eight. If you're looking for Hungarian Horntail, that is eight of eight. So let's, this one says six of eight. This one is Cornish Pixie. All right. So six of eight is the Cornish Pixie. And again, it has a cute little stand and the Cornish Pixie is ripping some pages out of the book. This one is magnetic as well. So I guess they're all magnetic and yeah, cute little Cornish pixie. His face is a little creepy, but yeah, he's in his little stand. All right, that'll make a good one for my Chamber of Secrets shelf. Because that's where we're first introduced to them by the lovely Gilderoy Lockhart. All right, this one says three of eight and these are the Crimes of Grindelwald uh, Fantastic Beast ones. Although some of the items, it looks like, are more from just the Fantastic Beasts movie. The first one. Alright, so let's see what this one is. So I'm guessing they're, is the, they're manufactured in the set of eight, but some of them are labeled as Crimes of Grindelwald, and some of them are labeled just as Harry Potter. Um, but they do both say collect all eight but there's only four from each type of box. So I guess it's all just one set of eight. Let's see what this one is. All right. This one is the Boo Truckle. So this one is a little picket. Very cute. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, picket is standing on some leaves. You put him, magnetic him to the little stand. Oh, so cute. Yes. Very cute. All right. Last one. So pick it was three of eight. So number three. Last one. This one says five of eight. So number five. This, oh, this is the Demi Guys. So number five is Dougal the Demi Guys with his little purse filled with candy and trinkets. And again, the painting on these are really cute. Yes, very cute. I like them a lot. I think they will do wonders to expand my shelves. All right, so again, the retail price for these. So I got four of them. The mystery figures do retail for $9.99, so 10 bucks. 
um, for one of the mystery figures. I do think they would make a cute stocking stuffer um, or something like that just to give the kids something to open or even adults, collectors, because I do think they are a decent quality. I think that 10 bucks is probably a pretty fair price for those. So let me know uh, down below again if you would like to comment and enter to win one of the ornaments, either a Dumbledore or a Ron. Make sure you have commented down below. You are subscribed to my channel. And bonus entry if you share this on your social media. Um, I also would like to know what your favorite item was from this Walgreens haul. Um, and let me know if you found ever found anything different at your Walgreens. Um, I guess I'll have to keep my eye out next time I'm going there um, to see if they have anything different or new that I can show you guys. Um, again, thanks for tuning in for my video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.